Hey and welcome to Airscape the Fall of Gravity. Um, I'll get my full disclosure out of the way right out of the gate here. I'm taking a look at this with a review copy that I received from a third-party PR firm. Uh, I personally don't know anybody over at Cross Product, so that's where my biases lie. I didn't pay for the game. I can think of it whatever the hell I want. So, what is Airscape Fall of Gravity? I'm gonna... Uh, I played about a half hour of it. I'm thinking about starting a new save to show the opening cutscene, but if I do that, I'm not going to be able to show levels off as I want to. Yeah, I think that's fine. So let's create a new save here. This should show off the opening cutscene. My mouse is apparently bound to the window even when it's not. So we play as a little octopus. Uh, it's built on the Steam page as a fast-paced, gravity-shifting action platformer about a deep-sea octopus who has been kidnapped by a mechanical alien race. I think I have to go down here. Low FPS detected, reducing resolution. Oh, that's a shame. It's probably because I'm recording. Um, so we are hanging out with all our octopus buddies in here. When this drill comes in, uh, I think it's going to scan us or something. I know you can dodge the scan by hanging out underneath it. So I'm going to do that. Oops. It's going to continue to reduce my resolution, which I wish it wouldn't. Because it's messing with all my settings. Um, in fact, can I open the options from here? I can. So let's take a look at the options here. Settings, you can change the screen shake. I'm actually going to take that down a whole lot because that like really annoys me. Uh, that's fine. Let's see, it's speed on timer, sure. Let's see, let's not see that just so we can't see how terrible my computer is. Uh, that should be good. Full screen, I don't want it. No. Turn that off, actually. <laughs> um, music volume is fine, sound effect volume is fine. Okay. So, not a whole lot of options there. Controls, here's your controls by default. Apparently you can use a gamepad, it doesn't recognize my 360 wired controller, so that's something to consider. Um, apparently you can, oh, then maybe you can change save slots, okay. Well, oh well, we'll do that later. This is how long my speedrun is taking. You know what, those numbers are like awful, so I'm actually going to turn those off. Now that I see them in action, where was that? That was back in game, wasn't it? Oops. Let's change it to full screen. Uh, turn that off. There we go. Okay. While we wait for the game's opening cutscene to start here. Oh, so there comes this giant alien monster robot thing. Um, so let's see what else can I say about the game. Yeah, developed and published by Cross Product. It's supposed to release tomorrow if you're watching this video the day it comes out. Uh, so I think the date of release is the August 11th. It's supposed to have 18 zones in it, according to the Steam page. Um, I have not gotten anywhere near that. I think I got to somewhere like Zone 5 or something in a half hour, so... Assuming the puzzles do not get any harder, which they definitely, definitely do, uh, it would take you probably a little over an hour, hour and a half to do everything. Um, but it, that's a huge underballing because that assumes you're perfect at like puzzle platformers which I am far from so that's not the case here uh, all right so we land I'm noticing that my recording screen is not covering the x-axis fully but that's not a huge deal so you move around with left and right you jump with the up arrow key and you see the gravity kind of shifts to your center of gravity uh, and then these are checkpoints so when I inevitably die, I come right back. And that just loops over down there. These are little... They kind of... They remind me of, like, the end of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Those things Robotnik kept all those animals in. So your goal is basically to go around... Uh, less dizzy, more snappy. I want it where it is. Um, and you'll see the little yellow circle at the bottom of the screen. Now glows because I rescued the animal. And we can hit the spacebar and go to the next level. So that's, that is in its simplest essence what Air Escape is about, is you go around rescuing all these animals, or maybe capturing them. I'm not sure if you're working for the mechanical alien race that's kidnapped you, or 
if you are um, working against them. And you get little tiny hops. Holding shift makes you run. That was what that last one was. And then there's little platforms. And boom. Now you see on this level that uh, the circle is split in half. And there were two alien or two creatures we had to fix. And that's the second level. Uh, I will. Let me start to get obstacles. If you die, you immediately respawn at your last checkpoint, which for me was the. Ah, got it. Okay. You saw that the. You might have seen. Uh, you could go back a second and watch it. The circle, the first little bit of the circle, was flashing there. That was because something, I assume the aliens, were trying to take that little animal away from me. So that level I actually had to redo the first time I was going through it because I didn't notice that fast enough. So I got to the end and there were only two of the three animals rescued. So then they introduce... Uh, they, they do a decent job of, like, introducing mechanics slowly. They don't really do the the thing you want where they give you an opportunity to see it beforehand and get used to it before it's, like, relevant. Um, here we can hop on rocks. And we can go in the water. And this is where it starts to get really interesting, is now your controls change pretty drastically. You move... Your left and right now don't move you, they just rotate the camera. And your up and down is what moves you, and you just kind of propel yourself forward or backwards, depending on what you want. Um, you do, you can still use the shift key to move faster. There's, there's no shift key and there's shift key. And it'll start to get into weird things where you've got to propel yourself out of the water into other body, bodies of water. And it, I, I kind of like it for a game that's based at least like 50% around water levels. It gets kind of interesting here. Um, oh, these are mines, you don't want to hit those, and I'm almost doing it again. I'm trying to find where the- oh, there it is. The little floating island is where I can find my animals here. Assuming they're still here, there they are. There's one. And then we'll go back in the water. So, it's a little bit... I'm trying to think of a gravity-based puzzle platform I've played recently, and I can't think of one off the top of my head. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that means there's no immediate comparison and it's kind of unique and doing something new, which is always a good thing. Um, but for a game... Oh, there we go. I knew it was around here. For a game that, like, you spend half the time doing what are functionally water levels, they're not super awful, which is really good. Because um, most of the time that you do water levels, they're going to suck. But the ones here don't. And I really like the like instant respawn because I'm really bad, so I will constantly get hit. And to not have to reload the level every time is a huge, huge relief. Um, gripes with the game, it does get a little frustrating when you can see what you're supposed to do, but controls are a little weird and you can't do them right. Uh, this level, I think, I think it's this level, which I thought was really cool the first time through. You go in, uh, I, why did I jump into a mine? Uh, and we're under the mine, and then we're in the water. The water kind of goes in this, like, spiral around. So I thought this level was, all the level designs are really interesting. Um, they do start to introduce, you see laser beams there. I'm trying to think what else they introduced. They introduced platforms with rocket ships. Here's where they tell you to, like, do your running swim to shoot yourself into other ones with enough momentum to, boom, get into the other one. Um, you want to hit checkpoints. You can, every time you pick up a little alien, or I keep calling them aliens even though they're just fish. Uh, every time you pick up a fish, you can go back to the checkpoint here and boom and then next time you die you won't have to get that fish again which is a huge relief as well here we're gonna have to propel ourselves up but we don't want to fall out of the water because we will die if we hit that laser beam 
There it is. Um, I kind of dig it. If I was more into puzzle platformers, I mean, I kind of got sick of them around the, like, middle of the 360's lifespan when it just kind of flooded the arcade with puzzle platformers and when, like, most initial indie games were puzzle platformers. I'm not entirely unsick of puzzle platformers, but it does some interesting things. Also, any excuse to play as an octopus, I'm all about. Um, and you see here that there is one that we are missing, two aliens. So we gotta find it and stop them. There are these little spinny discs. It doesn't look like it's this one. Oh, I got torn up. Uh, it's probably this one, actually. Ugh. And the game crashed. Oh, no, it's just lagging. Okay. Whew. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, okay, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I don't know not much else to say about the game. Uh, they... I Again, there's supposed to be 18 zones. I've only played through five of them, I think. Or I started the fifth one, and that's where they introduced rocket platforms and shit got way too hard for me. Um... I'm not super into puzzle platformers, but I'm... I'm happy that they are still around and that they're... Oh, damn it! That there is still room to innovate on them. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the first one because I don't think that's the one that they're stealing from me. I think it's this one here that they're stealing. So, let's rock it up. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't think it's that one either. I think it's one... The far one, actually. So I think they want me to zoom through the level to get to it. Whoa. Ah. Shoot. I may be stuck here forever. Um. You know what? Let's see if I can go to slot one. Oh, I can. Okay. So I figured it out. It's just not as intuitive as I would have liked. I would think there would be... There's no back from here. Once you've loaded a save slot, you can't get back to that main menu I started on with press start. You can only choose your save slot and apparently change your save slot through the options menu and not in here. If you hit quit, it just automatically quits the desktop. Um, so let's see if I can do this level again. Which I think was the first box. You'll see I've unlocked... This is the first boss level. Boss level, I say in quotations. There wasn't really a boss. There was a purple octopus in there. And... Oh, jeez, it's getting kind of framey here. Boom. You have to do... Oops. Just a little bit of... Oh, too far. Nope. Too far. Oh man, I got an achievement. Oh, too far. A series of switching back and forth between land and not land. Land and water, I guess. Um, and you do unlock other octopuses. I don't know if the other octopuses actually have powers or not. You know what? That's to this map. <laughs> uh, I can show off. You know, let me go to like the newer level. Yeah, here. Let's go to this one. This is the one I'm on now, I think. Uh, yes. You'll see here it gives me the opportunity to hit the X button in the beginning. That lets me switch between octopuses. Octopi. Uh, the yellow one is the vanilla one. When you unlock the purple one, you get to do a hover, which it's kind of cool that they do different things. Um, I didn't think there would be more than one octopus when I started, but there is. Alright, I gotta... Okay, gotta get down and... Ooh, oh, I made it. Oh, I hit the checkpoint. Okay. It's pretty good. Some of these platforms have rockets under them. And then you still have to, ah, balance yourself. Oh, too far. And, yeah, that, I mean, that's basically the gist of Airscape. I'm sure there's more interesting mechanics that will come up as you progress through it. Damn it. Because I think this is the first level I saw the rocket platforms. And like I said, they do a good job of tutorializing these sorts of things. Uh, you can, however, sometimes still 
run into weird glitches like this. Uh, restart level. So I can't restart from the checkpoint, unfortunately, and I have to do this all again. Oh yeah, that's the one I have to get off of. Oops, and I fall to my death. Um, it's tough. It definitely will live past its... Each level is not just like a go in and you can sight read it every time. Uh, you can usually sight read what you have to do, but the manual dexterity required to actually perform the platforming objectives is not necessarily... It doesn't come as easily as we would like it a lot of the time. Oh, come on. No, no. Turn, turn. Oh, shoot. Oh. Alright. Let's see if I can... I wonder if there's one other thing I haven't checked yet. Can you skip ahead levels? Yes, you can. Let's do that then. I haven't seen this level at all. Uh, okay. That's going to turn back on. Okay. Gonna need to get out of there. Fast. Ah. Oh, okay, I see what we're doing here. Float. Run. Oh, oops. Try to do one more level and try and show off something new. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete a level while trying to come up with something to talk about. Oh well. Um, let's see if I can find an easier level to show off something new. Maybe zone 3. I think it's this one. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, yes, this one was kind of interesting. Like The level design in here is really interesting. Um, you have these sections where, I think the one I showed off earlier where you spiral around in the water. Shoot. Uh, this is another one kind of like that, but instead of doing a water spiral, you're doing a land spiral, and I think they do... Uh, shoot. I cannot navigate these rocks. Um, they do sort of seamlessly work in the water spheres you see up there, there's, ah, uh, shoot. It's tougher than it looks. Uh, it's not really, I think I did this pretty easily my first time. I didn't have to talk about it. Um, frame rate is, oh my god. Frame rate's kind of garbage because I'm trying to record it, but, uh, I didn't have any issues with frame rate without recording, so it looks better when you're not recording it, which I don't... Which I don't imagine most of you are, so that should be fine. Aha! And then, there's where you have to kind of propel yourself out. And I crashed. Okay. Well, I think you get the idea. Basically, it's a puzzle platformer. Uh, there's some interesting water mechanic stuff going on. Uh, this, I guess I could talk about this. This, you need to get enough rescues to unlock progress and they turn into this when I got the last one which is where I unlocked the purple octopus so I imagine I'll unlock another octopus here and then get zone 6 and beyond um I don't think I really have a whole lot to say about it I mean it's a puzzle platform if you like puzzle platformers I think you'll really like air escape because it does some really interesting things with puzzle platforming um even if they call it an action platformer, I think it's more of a puzzler because you have to... It's it's definitely more action-oriented. You have to figure out what you have to do and then actually execute it. Whereas, I guess, a puzzle platformer, you don't. there's not a whole lot of emphasis on the execution so much as the... figuring out the puzzle, which... I mean, you also do... I never really noticed, but you do get to kind of see the whole layout of the level going in. Um, and you can push X on the main thing to change your color if you want to uh, change your color on the fly. But that's that's basically it to Airscape. If you don't like puzzle platformers, you probably won't like Airscape. If you're neutral on puzzle platformers like I am, um, I mean, I like octopuses, octopi, so any excuse to play as an adorable octopus I'm down with. I like when they do interesting kind of innovative things, which... 
Um, cross product's definitely done here. Um, I think that's basically it, yeah. That's... That's, uh, Airscape. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.